hello guys welcome back to our crime focus my name is kojo racing thank you so much for checking me out on this channel once again so um in today's video um president the president of the republic of ghana his excellency nana adodankwa akufuado has officially commissioned um the first ever interchange in the northern part of ghana that is the tamale interchange so he commissioned th this interchange yesterday in a ceremony at the tamale i mean tamale municipality so um this is the first ever interchange which has been commissioned at the northern part of the country and uh, his excellency president akufuado was there to give his powerful speech about the project so he he gave a powerful speech of which i want to share with you guys so this guy uh, this this video is about the powerful speech um his excellency nana kufado gave on the on the day of commissioning the tamale interchange so please kindly watch the video to the end listen very well to what he said at the commission of the interchange peace out the minister for tourism arts and culture ministers and deputy ministers of state Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to Ghana, the overlord of Dagmon, Yana Abuka, Mahama Abukari II, and the other traditional rulers, Metropolitan Chief Executive for the Tamale Metropolitan Assembly, Chief Director and Officials of the Ministry of Roads and Highways, Chief Executive Officer of Sino Hydro Corporation Limited, the Northern Regional MPP Chairman, residents of Tamale, fellow Ghanaians, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Dasiba. I want to thank the Overlord, the Yana. Mahama Bukhari for his gift of the bow is highly appreciated and it will be well taken care of. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Nearly three years ago, on 10th April 2019, I was in Tamari to launch the Ga government of Ghana Sino Hydro Master Project Support Agreement and cut the sword for the construction of the Tamale Interchange, the first interchange in the northern sector of the country. I'm delighted to be back again, this time on my birthday, to commission the Tamale Interchange. which is being completed three months ahead of schedule and on budget. In the midst of a global pandemic, which has brought considerable disruption to every phase of national life. Let me thank profusely the dynamic, hardworking Minister for Roads and Highways, Honorable Kwesia Mwakwata, Member of Parliament for Etiwa West, and his team from the Ministry and the Ghana Highways Authority for overseeing the delivery of this piece of splendid infrastructure. Tamar Interchange is the fourth interchange constructed since I came into office following the construction of the Tema Motorway Phase 1 Interchange or Betebi Lamte Phase 1 Interchange and the four-tier Pukwasi Interchange. The Tamale Interchange is a pre-stressed concrete continuous bridge with very few joints to enhance driving comfort. It has involved the construction of some 1.1 kilometers of roads on the interchange, the provision of good drainage systems, the erection of streetlights, and 10 kilometers of asphaltic overlay 
around the interchange. Constructed by Monsieur Sino Hydro, the Tamale Interchange has provided prime urban space under the interchange, which has to be put to good use for the benefit of the country and Tamale. The Ministry of Roads and Highways, the responsible ministry, should liaise with the Regional Coordinating Council and the Tamale Metropolitan Assembly to develop this prime land to befit the status of the interchange. Under the Sino Hydro project, government signed a master project support agreement with Sino Hydro for the delivery of two billion United States dollars worth of priority infrastructure projects across the country in exchange for the delivery of Ghanaian manufactured aluminum products to Sino Hydro. This has led inter alia to the establishment of the Ghana Integrated Aluminum Development Corporation, GIADEC, a statutory public corporation, to oversee the development of the, ex of the exploitation of the full value chain of our bauxite resources so we can have a vibrant aluminum industry in Ghana and ensure that we live up to our end of the barter transaction. This innovative arrangement, the first of its kind on the African continent, is not going to add to our country's debt stock. This transaction is a good example of the excellent relation that the Republic of Ghana enjoys with the People's Republic of China. May those relations long endure. And I thank the President of the People's Republic of China, His Excellency Xi Jinping, for his birthday wishes. I would respectfully ask the Chinese Ambassador to inform the President that I have received his message with happiness. Under phase one of the project, a total of 441 kilometers of roads and two interchanges were to be constructed. I'm happy to announce that most of the projects are at various levels of completion. Vice President Mohamedou Baoumia commissioned the Lot 8 projects under the Sino Hydro project which involved the upgrading of 68 kilometers of selected feeder roads in the Ashanti and Western regions last Friday, 25th of March. The following interchanges are either ongoing or planned to start this year. Better empty Interchange Phase 2, PTC Roundabout Interchange, Nungua Interchange, part of the La Beach Road Widening Project, Lot 2. Ajingrano Overpass. Flower Pot Interchange. Tema Motorway Interchange, Phase 2. And Swami Interchange in Kumasi. <laughs> Apart from the construction of the interchanges, government has undertaken critical road projects to improve urban mobility across the country, which will reduce travel times on our highways. These include one, construction of some 1,200 kilometers of asphalt overlay works in my first term of office. Beneficiary cities include Accra, Kumasi, Tema, Kikos, Sekandi Takradi, and Hohoi. In Accra, some of the areas that have benefited include Wajak Bawe, Dansuman, Abusu Okain, Osu, Adentai, Bubuasi, Sakumano, and Mimpasam. As part of the critical roads project, some selected roads in Tamale, Yendi, Waliwale, Gambaga, Nalerigo, and Damango have been asphalted. The Ministry of Roads and Highways has programmed to complete 1,500 kilometers 
of asphalt overlay works between 2021 and 2024. Number two, rehabilitation of the 166 kilometer Yendi Tallinn Road by Masters China Water and Electric. Three, rehabilitation of the 62 kilometer Yendi to Zabuzugu Road by China Shinji Limited. Four, rehabilitation of 600 and 70 kilometers of feeder roads in the Upper West region. Five, reconstruction of the Tamale to Waliwale Road Phase 1, which will improve the section between Savelugu and Tamale and Waliwale. Work will commence in the second quarter of this year. The section between Tamale and Savelugu shall be widened into a dual carriageway. Six, commencement of the dualization of the second D Adembra Rose in second D Takradi in the second quarter of 2022. Seven, rehabilitation of Aguna Junction Takwa Highway. And eight, rehabilitation of Asin Fosu Asin Prasu highway let me in conclusion request and repeat that the ministry of roads and highways must ensure the proper maintenance of the tamale interchange over the design period i appeal to the users of the facility especially drivers to adhere to the various road safety measures put in place for the safe use of the facility the modernization of Ghana is steadily gathering momentum, and I treat all Ghanaians to join hands in building the Ghana we want. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, I declare and have the pleasure so to pronounce the Tamale Interchange duly commissioned. May God bless us all and our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. President of the Republic.